80% of data analysis in Excel can be learned in just a few minutes. That's because the four core steps you need are the same regardless of the dataset. So let me show you how to complete these steps using a real world dataset from the Olympics. Let's get into it. Here's the dataset we're working with, which has all of the Olympic medalists for Beijing and Tokyo 2020. And to follow along, you can download this file for free in the video description. At the very beginning, you always want to duplicate your original data, so you can either create a new file or create a new worksheet. So just by pressing Ctrl and dragging like that with the mouse to create a duplicate. Now, if we delete anything by mistake, we can always go back to the original version. With that, to get started with the analysis, it's always easier to press Ctrl T and convert this into a table. We also have headers, so let's stick on my table has headers here and press on OK. Before we start transforming any of this data, we should make sure there are no duplicate row entries. And for this, Excel has a feature just by going over to data and pressing on this button here with the X. That's the remove duplicates button. And we just need to press on OK. It's gonna remove any duplicates that we have. It says there's none, so that's all looking good. And because we converted this into a table, we now have these drop downs so we can see all of the entries. In the games, we should only have two games here, so Beijing and Tokyo. That's looking good. Under the gender over here, in this case, it looks like we've got men, woman, that makes sense. There's mixed, so I'm assuming that's men and woman. And there's open, which I'm not quite sure what that is, so let me just click on that and see what it is with the different disciplines. From the sports that I can see here, it seems like it's something where you can compete both as a man or as a woman, so it doesn't really matter what your gender is, hence why it's known as open. We can press on select all again and click on OK, so we have a better understanding of that. And in the medals, let's see if there's no errors here, so there should only be three different categories, bronze, gold and silver, so that's looking good. Now that we've worked on the initial cleaning, we can then work on transforming the data and making some changes. For example, over here under type, you can see that we have this game team. And if I press control down arrow to get to the bottom, we have athlete. It seems like we only have two options here, athlete and game team. So I'm assuming this game team just means it's a team. So what we're going to do is just select this column. So column F just by pressing up top and then pressing control H. Here it's the replace tool. We can also go there just by going over to home. Under finance select, click on replace. That's the same thing and we want to find game team like this and just replace it with team. So it's a bit easier for other people to understand. We'll press on replace all, OK and close out of that. You can see these are all now team. Moving on to the athlete column over here, you can see that we have complete blanks on all of these simply because it's a team sport. While if we go lower down when it's an individual athlete, there is that name of the person. So maybe here we can also put the word team. It's very tedious if we have to go one by one. So a cool shortcut is just to select this whole column and then go to control G. That's a go to special pop up. That's the same as going to home and clicking on go to special. From here, we want to select all of the blanks. Press on OK. Once these are selected, we're just going to put team on the first one and make sure you do control enter here. Once you do that, all of the blank ones are going to get converted into team and everything else should stay the same. That's the bulk of the transformation done, but you can also change a few other things like the medals here. Suppose you don't want them as capital letters. On the side, you can just use the proper function. And what this one does is it's going to convert only the first letter into capital and everything else into lowercase. Another cool function you can use is trim, which basically removes any excess spaces you might have. Sometimes one might be gold while the other one might have a space and then the word gold. So to remove any of those errors, you can use the trim function too. We don't need these for the time being, so I'm just going to delete them, but I wanted to quickly show you nonetheless. Overall, for some simple data cleaning and transformation, you can do it inside of Excel. But actually, if you want to do it faster and better, you should use Power Query, which I teach you how to do in a separate video you can find over here if you're interested. Awesome. Now moving on to step three, where we can analyze the data set. And our manager is actually asking us some questions about it. So let's see what he has to say. Firstly, he's asking if there is more team or there's more individual disciplines. 
For this, we basically want to find the count of the team and the count of the athlete, which is when it's an individual sport. We can do this a few different ways, but probably the most versatile is going to insert, pivot table. Let's click on OK here. And within this area, you'll find all of our columns. So we're really looking for the type. You can see we have the two types here and that same type we want to add as our values as a count of type. So you can see there is a lot more individual sports than there are team sports. After this first question, he's now asking which discipline is most common. So for example, if we look over here under Olympic medals, you can see that we have curling a bunch of times, then freestyle skiing, etc. So he wants to see which is most popular. We can go over to this part again, control C and paste it down below with control V. So we can do a separate analysis here. And this time we're looking for the discipline so we can add that over here as the rows we can remove the type entirely remove this count of type over here as well and we can just add the discipline under values too so you can see the counts of all of these disciplines but right now they're not in any particular order so what we can do is right click on them and go to sort sort largest to smallest you can see athletics is the most common followed by swimming and wrestling you might also be interested in the different weights that they have so out of the total olympics how much weight is on this one so what percentage of total we can do that by taking the discipline and adding it again under the values this time around though we're gonna right click so right click on this and go to show values as and percentage of grand total so you can see athletics accounts for only 10 percent of the total olympics and the rest have a much smaller portion one important thing to keep in mind is that we're currently looking at two separate Olympics at the same time, so it might be better to filter them out. We can put the game here under the filters, and you see in this drop down, we can choose specifically Tokyo 2020, and so now we only have those disciplines that are for the Summer Olympics. Before we continue attending our manager, if you're an aspiring data analyst, other than Excel, there's some other skills like SQL, Power BI, or Python, that you should probably learn and a great way to learn these in demand data skills is by taking our data analyst program it consists of five individual courses and over 350 lessons designed to make you a world-class data analyst so if that sounds interesting head over to the link in the description below to join our data analyst program now and gain the skills you need to thrive in today's data-driven world now our manager is asking which country had the most medals in Tokyo 2020. So for this, we can stay on the same pivot table. We just need to remove some of these parts. So let me quickly do that. We just need to drag them out like so. We're fine with it being Tokyo 2020, but we now want the different medals. We'll put those under the columns. So here we are gold, bronze, and silver. And we need the different countries, which we can add as the rows. Finally, we're missing the values where we can also add the medals in here, like so. You can see that right now it's quite rough to read and that's because it's not in any particular order. So let's first move all of these around. So the gold should go over to this left hand side, then silver and finally bronze. So what we can do is just move the bronze. Let me select all of the bronze area. Now that I have it all selected, I can just quickly move that like so. So we have gold, silver and bronze. And we're now gonna order this. So I'm just gonna right click and assort. We're gonna go largest to smallest based on the gold medals. You can see here the numbers for gold, silver, and bronze, as well as the totals. After extracting these insights, the final step would be to visualize them. So convert it into some kind of chart. And for this, what we can do is just select this entire table with Control Shift down, Control Shift right. And we're just gonna head over to insert under recommended charts we can choose this clustered column just to start with but you'll notice that this basically has too much data so we've got too many countries in here so a good way to filter those out would be to go under the different row labels right click and go to filter we can filter by the top 10 or top 25 whatever number you really want here i'm just gonna go for 10 you can see how this chart is going to update it's a lot easier to read that said, we do want to see the different totals because for instance here, Japan has more gold medals, but it actually has less in total than the next two countries. So we can change this type of visual to something else by going over to format. Actually, it's in design and we're going to go to change chart type. 
Within it, instead of the clustered column, we want to choose the stacked column. Click on OK. And so now we can see the different gold medalists, but we can also see in the totals that actually Great Britain and ROC are the higher medal count than Japan. Let me make this slightly bigger so you can see it better there. Another awesome visualization you can add is a slicer. So over here you can see we're now filtering by the games and it's Tokyo 2020. You can do the same thing by going to Pivot Table Analyze and clicking on Insert Slicer. We want a slicer for the games. Press OK here and you can see that it adds this type of filter and we can change from Beijing. You can see all our data updates to Tokyo. We can change this from just one column to two columns like this, which I think might look a bit cleaner on top of the chart here. You could see what that looks like right now. Hopefully it's a bit better. Keep in mind that this only works for this particular pivot table. It's not really changing the part above that we calculated for the total athletes. To link this one as well, we can click on the slicer, click on slicer up here and under report connections, we want to make sure the other pivot table is also thick press OK and now you'll see that both of them are being filtered like that so we can press X to get out of them and have all of them. As one final bonus question our manager wants to know is how many medals did India win? So for this we can actually just go inside of the table instead of using a pivot table just using a filter function. Within it the array is basically the entire area so we can select all of that comma and then the include we want to include just the country part so it's going to be this country column h and when that's equals to in quotations india we want to see the different results make sure we close the parenthesis and hit enter based on that you can see they're all in tokyo 2020 and it seems like they got four bronze two silver and one gold medal here for niraj so far, we've only touched on data visualization slightly, so if you want to create a full interactive dashboard, you can watch this video over here, or you can take our Excel course over here. Hit the like and the subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.